Although managers that have been in the industry for a long time have years of experience creating property management contracts, it might seem a little bit intimidating if you're new to real estate management. Welcome back, Loopers. It's Andrew Chung with Dorloop. Today, we'll be discussing the Florida Property Management Agreement, which can seem intimidating if you're new to real estate management. But don't worry. We've got all the information you need to create a contract that complies with state law and covers all the essential elements of property management in Florida. Firstly, it's important to understand what a property management agreement is. It's a legal contract that formalizes the relationship between a property owner and a property management company or professional. The contract outlines the manager's duties and the duration of their authority over the real estate, usually for at least one year. Why is having a property management agreement essential? It's the cornerstone of a trustful relationship with your clients. It safeguards your firm against uncertainty, and it can be the deciding factor for a landlord choosing between different property management companies. A property management contract is essential to win against the competition and gain the sole right to look after your client's rental property. If there isn't a written agreement in place, property managers run the risk of landlords withdrawing their interest at any time during your administration. So what should a property management agreement include? Number one is responsibilities of both parties. This section lists the obligations and responsibilities of both the property owner and the manager. It includes duties such as rent collection, security deposit handling, and property maintenance. Number two is management fees. This section should outline your company's fee schedule and any additional costs offering transparency to the property owner. Number three is the duration of the contract. Typically, contracts run for one to two years, depending on the agreement between the property manager and the owner. Number four is liabilities. This includes clauses that describe where you as a manager might be held accountable and hold harmless provisions to protect you from liability unless there's negligence or irresponsibility. And number five is contract termination. This section should cover the terms of termination, including the notice period, any applicable early termination fees, and responsibilities until the agreement ends. In Florida, you must understand the laws governing rental management. For instance, you'll typically need a broker's license to manage properties. However, there are exceptions, like if you're a permanent employee of the building owner or a licensed real estate broker. Creating a property management agreement can be challenging. Many sites offer templates, but they often lack specifics. Luckily, Dorloop can help you generate flawless property management contracts quickly and easily. It even allows you to add e-signatures and personalize the agreement. Knowing how to draft a property management agreement is crucial. With the help of Dorloop, you can create professional contracts and manage all aspects of your work from property listings to accounting. Schedule a demo with Dorloop today. Click on the link in the description below. Before we get to some frequently asked questions, make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up so we can get this information to more real estate professionals. And here are some frequently asked questions. Number one is, under what conditions can a property management agreement be terminated? A property management agreement can be terminated by either party at any time, although an early termination fee may apply. Also, a property management arrangement may be canceled when the lease expires and the landlord decides to stop renting the property. It can also be terminated when a party violates the terms of the contract or once the agreed upon rental period for the property has passed without the unit being rented. Question number two is, do I need a broker's license to be a property manager in Florida? The answer is yes, you generally need a broker's license to be a property manager in Florida. And question number three, what are some typical property manager obligations? Typical property manager obligations include marketing the rental unit, collecting rent, maintaining the property, managing tenant requirements, communicating with the property owner, and handling evictions. Well, that's it for this video. If you want to join a community with other real estate professionals, join our exclusive Facebook community with a link in the description. And to learn more about property management tips, click this playlist here. We'll see you there.